good morning. Uh, out on the river, again. You're gonna hear that, I guess that intro, you're gonna hear it a lot over the next few weeks. Um, you know, it's preparing for the Hobie BOS and there's a bunch of river tournaments, you know, over the summer. So, you know, you're, you're gonna hear that quite a bit coming from me. Um, this is primarily what we're gonna be focusing on from now until basically August. Um, and then after that, it's the fall time and it's a whole different kind of river fishing then. Um, oh, and I almost forgot, the, uh, the native Big Bass Power Hour is, is also October 8th. If you don't know what that is, search it up. Um, I think they're doing $1,000 per hour. Uh, don't quote me, but I think it's like $1,000 per hour for the biggest bass and then I think they're doing $1,000 for first place and, and I, there's some other prizes. There's a couple kayaks being given away. So, you know, it's, it's a real cool thing that they're doing. Um, and, you know, you also have the Hobie BOS and then you have all your different local tournaments. So there's a lot going on on the river this summer, so we're gonna spend a lot of time here. That said, I'm out here today with my buddy Alex. Um, I don't know if a lot of you folks that are subscribers that are local probably know who Alex Fioka is. We're gonna get out here and try to catch some topwater fish. And I have a couple different plans, a couple different things that I wanna that I wanna record today and do. Um, but you know, wish us luck. We're gonna we're gonna go out here and see what we can't get done. Super foggy. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe I'll pan to the rear camera. Z I mean, not zero visibility, but not good visibility for the river. So in reality, we should not have any jet boat company until this burns off. So talk to y'all in a little bit. bump and grind. Nothing to worry about here. I might have ripped my rudder off, but there's nothing to worry about here. They're probably going to be on this next point. That's where I got those last two bites at. Well, they still come up shallow at nighttime to feed. And honestly, in this stretch right here, they'll spend a lot of their a lot of their day right here because of the shade provided by these trees. Yes. Came off. Nope, I still got it. That's a small one, dude. 
That's all right. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna complain. You are the first fish of the day, sir. Welcome um, to the USS. Ah! <laughs> Too many treble hooks. <laughs> Way too many treble hooks for you to be doing that crazy nonsense, bro. Way too many. Just a wee little fella. That one's that one's not even, I don't even think that one's eater size. We're keeping these fish today, right? We're gonna have a fish fry, right? We're not gonna have fish fry. They're not all this size today. I mean, that's like a two pound of 11 inch fish right there. Good old Susquehanna style. It's not two pounds, but it was every bit of a pound and a half and it was probably 11 inches long. That's a better one. Oh no, don't don't be stuck. Are you kidding me? Son of a oh. Yeah. All right, there we got 
nice 18 inch smallmouth, big old heavy one. We're gonna get her back in there. First good fish of the day. And um, we play, we've been playing around with some top water, but they haven't, uh, they've been very swipey. If, if that makes any sense. Probably about 17. No, oh, no, she gets 18. All right, 18 on the dot. She's a little skinnier than that last one, but good fish. You mother... Excuse the bleeps. That was an 18.
probably about a 17 inch fish. Give them a quick measurement. See, hopefully this one won't jump off the board. Alright, 17 incher. Not a bad fish, nice and fat though. Recovering good from the spawn, I think. Get her back in there. Just my rock guard work. <laughs> 